Yeah, the less decisions that you have to make against those types of players, the better off you are. And one of those players, Philip Grusom, has Queen Jack suited and has raised it to 4,500. Philip currently calling London home, has played other high roller events, including the 2013 PCA, 100K buy-in. He finished fifth there for 400,000. Philip is known as a high roller specialist. The last couple of years, he's absolutely dominated the high roller circuit. Tony G has called from the small blind with 10-9 off suit. Over to Quas in the big with King-9. He accepts an invitation. Don't expect to find Tony's play here in any poker book, kind of <laughs> playing his own style. Well, if it's in a book, it'll be his own. Three-way action to the flop, which is deuce by Jack. Not much of a flop for anyone besides the opener, Philip Grusom, who flops a pretty good hand with top pair. Try telling that to Tony G, who is led into the field here for 7,000. Very odd play from Tony leading out of position into two very talented players here. One of them who is a pre-flop aggressor in Philip Grusom. And Philip just calls. Why not raise? You know, I don't think your hand is necessarily strong enough to raise. And I just think, you know, most players have been playing a little bit more passively post-flop, allowing their opponents to bluff into them and making it so that they can play weaker hands the same way that they play some of their strong hands. Action on the turn went check, check after a third spade hit the board. On the river, the board pairs. A little surprised that Philip didn't bet the turn here. He doesn't have a spade in his hand, and Tony showed some weakness by checking the turn. 25. And Tony bets 25,000 with 10 high. This bet is going to make Philip think that Tony's hand is polarized. Tony, Tony. Which basically means that Tony either has a stronger hand than Philip. Not flush, so. Maybe a flush or a straight or potentially is bluffing. Remember, each player only had 100,000. Upon entry, 25,000 is a pretty sizable representation of that original stack. Why are you not betting the turn? It's a good turn for you. Yeah, I think that's one of the keys to this situation right now. If Philip wants to call, he's got to put about a quarter of his remaining chips into the pot and hope that Tony G is just bluffing. Okay, you got it, you got it. And wow, Philip Grusom lays down and Tony gives him a look at the bluff, 10-9. Oh, I didn't connect anywhere. <laughs> that was a, was a good turn for you. <laughs> it was, it gave me hope. I was committed to that pot. Nice hand. I didn't have any option on the end, right? I mean, I had to have a, I had to do something. Max, Philip, and Fabien looking like hungry lions as Tony shows his very unorthodox and somewhat fishy line. <laughs> right, if I just leave it, I might as well just give you 50,000 pounds cash, you know? I'm gonna stop bluffing though. That's, that's, that's why I wanted to show that one.